Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm all right, thanks. Yeah. So uh, I wanted to find out a few things on on Shaga. So yeah, uh, we discovered, we had, we hear that uh, you'll be an executive producer as well. Indeed. Yeah, Indeed. so uh, so how, how has it been uh, being an actor and a producer at the same time? It's been a very um, interesting journey. It has had its challenges, but it has been an incredible experience for me to be able to first executive to produce um, my first television series of this epic scale, to be able to learn the business as well of, of, of storytelling. So, you know, that's why they call it showbiz. There's the show side and there's the biz side. So being able to tackle and, and, and maneuver both sides has been a very uh, fruitful journey for me. I've learned so much and I will continue to learn. I'm a student to the game. That's what they say. So I'm a student to the game, but, you know, obviously wanting to navigate the two worlds of being an EP, but also um, playing a lead role, all those things that are so demanding, you know, on both ends. But it was it was an incredible journey. And I I know that it's the beginning of so much more. Okay. And uh, how have you been juggling between the two, uh, acting and uh, producing at the same time? Well, juggling between the two was interesting, you know, uh, but really so much fun. So I got to have a lot of empathy for what it's like to be a producer because I was an actress for a very long time. And so I would complain on set and be like, why do we have this? Why don't we have this? But as a producer now, I'm like, guys, <laughs> <laughs> we're trying our best here. <laughs> so mm -hmm. navigating the two. Um, on, on days that I wasn't shooting as Princess Nandi or Queen Nandi, I would go on set as an EP. Um, and just make sure that everyone felt safe and felt um, like it was a good environment to be able to be creative and also just contributing to uh, different conversations and different decisions that had to be made um, and just being a part of that. So it, it really was just about balancing both. Obviously not 50-50. I'd probably say I was more 70% on performing because I was, a, you know, I was playing lead. So my, call, my calls were much more having to be on set. But uh, 30, 40%, I was on the EP side. Okay. Uh, and you got one of the leading roles in, in, the, in the series, Queen Nandi. Uh, <clears throat> to you, how big a role is that as an actress? And uh, how, what, what can you expect from you? It was always my dream. I'd always manifested and, and really felt, um, I suppose, this, uh, this feeling of a calling that that's the character that I'd love to play one day and portray. She's been an iconic figure um, for a very long time, for centuries. And what she's always stood for has always been something that has resonated me since I was a young girl, resonated with me since I was a young girl. And then when I got into the arts, I thought to myself, that's really, uh, that's the most challenging role that I'd love to take on. And so when when the opportunity came and, you know, years and years of of research and and years and years of exploring the character by the time we got to set I she had embodied me so so much and so how I feel is that I think she chose me as much as I chose her okay uh and uh, you you'll be working with some of the finest uh, actors and actresses in SA how how has it been being on set with them inspiring my co-stars are very inspiring. They are committed and uh, dedicated performers and dedicated actors who really pushed to the limits and inspired me to also push to the limits. Everybody was, everybody knew that this was no ordinary job. This was not another show. Everybody knew it was more of a spiritual journey and you could see it in the performances and you could see it in the dedication. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and you've been around in the film industry for some time. Uh, what is it that you've noticed? Something maybe that we can work on as Africa? What can we improve on vis-a-vis -vis other parts of the world? Well, I think there's an opportunity for us to be unafraid to tell our stories from our gaze and from our perspective. It's also an opportunity for us to be much more um, broader in our thinking when it comes to the creative stories that we want to tell to not play it safe. Uh, and most importantly, my favorite thing to say 
as of late is excellence is a habit. So I hope you practice excellence. Mm -hmm. OK, uh, and one, oh, what, what, what can people expect from the, from the film, from the series, sorry? Uh, what are you people promising? Expect, oh, people yeah. can expect an epic, um, an epic show. Every Sunday, they will probably be sending me hate mail on Twitter, like, you can't end the show like this. We want more. We can't wait another week. So I'm expecting that. <laughs> and uh, people can expect to experience passion, love, the beauty of who we are, the beauty of the costumes, of the music, of the performances, and people can expect to um, experience action and incredible performances and beautiful cinematography. Okay. Uh, and uh, lastly, where does the role Queen Nandi rank in your in your career from all the works <laughs> you've done before? Um, I guess I gotta be biased because this is. I, I'm an EP too, so it's number one. <laughs> mm. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I think that's all I had for you. So thank you, so thank much, you very Jordan. much. Okay. This is fantastic. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.